hello everyone welcome to my channel quantum ideas so today we will be solving some of the digital sat math problems related to geometry and the topic on the geometry is circles so let's get started so let's see number one in the figure above okay in the figure above equilateral triangle a b c is inscribed in circle d if the area of the circle d is 36 pi okay the area of the circle is 36 pi what is the length of the minor arc ab so what is the length of minor arc ab so this is the arc so we have to find the length of that arc so see here this equilateral triangle means every angle will be 60 degree right 60 degree and 60 degree all side will be equal so this means these all three the lines of these triangles are dividing the circle equally into three parts so, so the whole circle is divided into what three parts so we need to know the formula of the area of circle is what is equals to pi r square so the area is given that is 36 pi right so we can cancel pi and r is equals to square root of 36 is 6 so radius is 6 now what we can do is we can find the circumference of the circle circumference is equals to what 2 pi r that is the length of this this whole circle right this is called circumference right circumference is what 2 pi r is equals to 2 pi what is r is 6 that is 12 pi the whole circle uh, circumference is what uh, 12 pi but this uh, triangle is dividing the circle into three part and we have to find the length of the what uh, one of the one of this part right that is minor arc av so how to find is that to find the length of minor arc av we have to divide 12 pi by 3 why because the three there are three arcs right three minor arcs they are dividing the whole circle into three parts it, because this is the equilateral triangle so the our answer is 3 4 so 4 pi so the arc length of the minor arc is sorry uh, yeah is uh, 4 pi so c is a answer so let's go to number two in the figure above okay question is little bit not clear guys uh, since i have very less time actually i just copy pasted this question okay so this is not uh, much clear but i am going to read it for you okay in the above figure three congruent circles are tangent to each other so these are three congruent exactly same circles and have center that lie on the diameter of the large circle so this is the diameter of this big circle okay and the center of the, uh, of the circle lies along those diameter if the area of its uh, is each of this small circle is 9 pi so area of it, this its small circle is 9 pi what is the area of this big circle so to find the area of the big circle we have to find the radius of the big circle okay so area is the pi times radius square so in order to do that let's find this r so in order to find that r we have to find the radius of the small circle so area of each circle is what okay area of a small circle is 9 pi so let's say small r is the radius of each circle so pi r square so radius of the each uh, small circle is what 3 unit so half this radius is 3 right and this is 3 and up to here okay at the center this is what 3 3 3 that is 9 so this is the radius of a bigger circle so this is the radius of this big circle so what will be the area of big circle will be pi r square will be equals to pi what is the radius of big circle 9 square so this is 81 pi so 81 pi d is your answer so let's move to next question number 3 the circle above has an area of 36 pi and is divided into 8 congruent regions means 8 equal regions okay these are the 8 uh, equal pieces okay what is the perimeter of one of this region so it is asking the perimeter of one of its region so let's say this is one of its region right so it is asking the sum of its all sides so sum of all sides of that one piece like one piece of pizza right so it's asking the perimeter of this side so how can we find it okay so let's let me show you so this is the radius of circle so this also radius of circle so these two are radius but we have to find this arc sorry this arc okay this is our challenge so first of all let's find the radius of the circle we have given area area of the circle is pi r square 
so that is 36 pi 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 gone radius is what 6 so radius is 6 means this 6 is part this is 6 now we have to find this part and add all of them to find the perimeter since this is the what congruent region right so what is the circumference of the circle 2 pi r they are equally divided into how many piece part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 5 6 7 8 part so one part will be equals to the length of one part will be equals to total that is 2 pi r divided by 8 so this equals to what 2 pi what is radius is 6 by 8 right so this equals to 12 pi over 8 so what will be the perimeter perimeter will be equals to okay perimeter of one side right so this is the perimeter of this side so this is what r r is what 6 6 and what is this this part this part is 12 pi by 8 just add them together 6 plus 6 plus 12 pi over 8 so 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 12 by 8. 12 by 8 is uh, equals to 1.5 pi so 12 plus 1.5 pi is the perimeter of one of these regions okay so 12 plus 1.5 pi c is their answer so uh, let's go to next question so again this is the similar equation to number one so in the figure above the square a b c d is the inscribed in the circle if the radius of the circle is r what is the length of arc a p d so a p d so this asking the length of this a p d okay since this is the square all sides are equal so it's divide the circle equally on the four part right so again how to find the arc a p d so arc uh, a p d length will be equals to total the, is the circumference divided by how many parts four parts okay if we divide by four we will get the one part so what is circumference of the circle is 2 pi r divided over 4 right so this is equals to what uh, 2 to 4 this is pi r over uh, 2 so the answer is b so answer to the question number 4 uh, is b pi r by 2 so let's go to number 5 uh, which of the okay which of the following is an equation of a circle in the xy plane with center minus 2 0 and an area of 49 pi so first of all we have given area we can find the radius of the circle so area is equals to what pi r square equals to 49 pi 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 is gone r square equals to 49 r is 7 unit right radius is 7 unit r square is 49 now we have to understand the equation of uh, circle also the equation of circle with the center at origin okay center at origin is equals to x square plus y square equals to r square uh, the equation of the circle with the center at h comma k is equals to x minus h square plus y minus k square equals to r square so here this is the center of our circle right this is not origin so this is h comma k just plug it here so x so what is h is minus 2 minus minus is plus 2 plus y what is k here k is 0 right here is k is 0 uh, square equal to what is radius square is 49 therefore x plus 2 square plus this is y square equals to 49 so d x plus 2 square plus y square equals 49 is the required equation of the circle so let's move to number 6 in the figure above circle c has a radius 6 so radius uh, given this is 6 okay 6 so if the area of the shaded sector is 10 pi the area of this uh, shaded piece is 10 pi what is the measure in radians of angle a c b a c b so the it is asking in term of radian so what uh, what is the area of sector Do you know area of sector is equals to 1 by 2 r square theta uh, this is uh, <coughs> this will be very easy if the uh, measure is in okay what is the measure rate of angle okay it's acting in the radian so it is very easy <coughs> we, we just uh, use this formula and there's also another formula to find the um, area of the sector is to uh, used to use the area of the circle pi r square into and this is called central angle theta and divided by 360 degree okay this also uh, this is also used to find the area of the circle but if they are talking in term of radians you can use this formula okay so what is the area area of the shaded sector is 10 pi is equals to 1 by 2 right okay what is the radius radius is 6 so 6 square into theta so we have to find what what is the angle okay AC. we have to find this theta 
this is called what central angle theta so theta will be equals to 2 into 10 is 20 pi over 6 square is 36 right and if you use this to find the fraction you will get uh, 4549 this will be 5 pi by 9 so c is your answer okay so if theta is given in degree you can use this formula if you have to find the theta in radian you can use this formula okay okay let's move to number seven the base of right circular cylinder shown in the above has a radius of four so this cylinder has the uh, radius of four and the height of five okay the height of five so this is the five this is four so what is the surface area of the cylinder so in order to find the surface of the area of the cylinder we have to break this okay break this uh, cylinder uh, in term of rectangle and circle so if we do this we can find the surface area in term of this so let's say this is the okay rectangle okay sorry so if we cut so if we cut the cylinder from here okay from here if you cut it from here we can convert it into a rectangle like this so this is a rectangle and there will be two parts two circles right there is one circle here there is a one circle here its radius is 4 its radius is 4 and the length of the rectangle becomes the circumference of the circle right 2 pi r and its uh, breadth or its width becomes its uh, height so there are one two three so three surfaces so to find the surface so we have to find the area of this rectangle that is two pi r h plus two circles two area of circle is two pi r square so this is equals to two into this common two pi is common uh, r h plus r square equals to two pi what is the radius of the circle uh, radius is four what is the height is 5 plus what is the radius 4 square right so this is equals to 4 into 5 is 20 plus 16 right let me do 4 is 20 plus 16 into 2 is equals to okay I think it's uh, 72 so this is uh, if I multiply by 2 this is okay this is 72 pi so 72 pi is there final answer okay guys so this is much for today if you have any confusion please comment below and if you like my video then definitely hit that like button and if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe so bye bye till the next video thank you